old guy and ran off with his gold and spent it all on a collection of ancient spells that could easily fuck you in the ass with a stick. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> no, I never beat the living hell. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> that must be jam. Because <laughs> I can't do this line. Later that day, in room 2A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going on the outtakes. Cheers. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, well, I was just doing some like lines for Iconic, and um, I went later that day in room 2A, and then we went. Anyway, what do you want? <laughs> you look pretty hot in your villain outfit. I gotta be perfectly honest, that's kind of nice. Wink. She's mean, but she still looks hot in that villain armor. Oh, it just occurred to me that the white text bubbles mean that he's not doing the bad guy voice. So, <coughs> so I'm gonna redo some of these lines with the not the bad guy voice. Sorry, but you have seven minutes of the baby funny. I don't know. Okay, episode 78 again, and this is the first time we see him with the regular kind of. I don't know how I'm going to do the bad guy voice. Maybe he'll sound just a little. Maybe he'll sound just a. Well, maybe he could sound a little bit British. I, I suppose if I suppose if he was British, that might be okay. I, I'm not entirely sure. It, it it's one step away from the evil voice, but but it's still quite it's still quite very very proper. But remember remember remember. remember, remember. So. Okay, at least the uh, plus one plus one weapon. What weapon? Slimy greeny things are the basis of practicality. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck his line. They do that a lot. I always actually kind of imagine the theme itself. Me I think it's the quit. I have dead. Uh, burping! Their claws are raking through my flesh like a plus two, plus two sort of wounding! Ah! Yeah, no, oh, it's first time! Exactly! <laughs> 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 Don't read it! <laughs> You've got tattoos we don't know about. Yes, that's what I do. It says, if you wish. <laughs> oh, aren't you lucky? I can't remember. The legend. Yeah! Read it now! No! Read it now! I'm trying! <laughs> But I want to stack my peak versatility level. Well, I'll touch it. No. <laughs> Irony A, that gives me an idea. Irony A, that gives me an idea. Iron Hand Punch! Iron Hand Pounch! Iron Hand! Iron Hand! Pounch! Really? Because I thought he tried to attack those invincible werewolves single handedly in some overly complex plane and. Fine. No! <laughs> no! I'm an overly complex plane with 3,000 machine guns bolted at front, so I can't see where I'm going. That would be awesome! Fighter, <laughs> <coughs> now! What? Attack them while they're distracting you, fool. Oh, yeah, right, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm going to throw a blue mine again. It's just way too much of me. Go! Fighter! Go! <laughs> In the butt, Charizard! <laughs> Pokemon Porno! <laughs> are we in the forest of. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> First the Giant's Forest, now God's Forest. <laughs> Out of the way, you man! Some thwack is gonna get thrown down and you won't. No, you won't want to get us to hurt. That makes sense, doesn't it? You're doing it again! Seems to me that all your credentials are wonderful! <laughs> because I'm certainly not. Repressing, 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 work with me here! Because I'm certainly not repressing! Alright. Thank you. This is, uh, 
<laughs> you have me! Jan, got me balls! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so much I don't like this. There are times in this place for power. Cry. Picture <laughs> <laughs> wide. Stab. <laughs> you did that most of the time, ghost. I don't have any lines. Sorry, team. <laughs> This team <laughs> is going to be disbanded because <laughs> you think from all Yeah, it's true, it's actually, because only you thing. can decide when this team can Only <laughs> you can decide! <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, let's head out into the perilous world and go and get the arch-villain Garland. Uh... Chaos Theory, the D20 and you. Fascinating. If I could construct a robotic power suit to further augment my aura of Dr. Doom. If the issue of hungry nomadic polar bears were brought up, then perhaps iceboxes could indeed be sold to Eskimos. And you were going to join these guys? Well, maybe if a certain destined member of a certain monastic order could be bothered to be on time for a change. Now it's my fault? There were bricks and planks of wood on the way. What was I supposed to do? Not break them? Yes. But that goes against everything I am. They were building a new town hall. With some shoddy materials, apparently. Ugh. Somehow, this is not what I thought being a light warrior would be like. Okay, let's go to Garland's castle and so five will shut up about it. Will you two be joining us on our quest? Oh, uh, no. We have to... Um... Let your suckers run around in front of us to kill all the monsters that lay in wait so we can travel safely in your wake of carnage and save the world while you serve as a decoy to all the evil. What part of secret confused you? Well, if they don't fight, then that means more experience for me, suckers. I have two thieving senses have detected a hint of a scam here. If I didn't know any better, I'd think they were using us like a bunch of pawns in their grand scheme to make the world a better place. But that's just crazy. Daddy, will you move the sand pills? Move the sand pills? It's funny every time. I'm gonna stab you so much. So I guess this is where we part, huh? Yep. For now, anyway. I'm sure we'll run into them in the future. Because we're just using you guys to get us to chaos without any trouble so we can save the world. And that's what we've got to do, so it always kicks in the world. I think they're on to us now? Where are you guys off to anyway? This is going to be easier than I thought. We're not going to Barlow's Castle. No, not even close. Aren't we going to follow them? I'm sure they can take care of themselves. Never do me! Oh, no, no, no. I can see my house from here. Of course. And so, to recap the adventure thus far, our heroes are walking through Imp Forest on their way to the Temple of Fiends where the vile Garland resides, with the kidnapped Princess Sara. Are we there yet? Because King Steve proclaimed them to be the true life warriors who could save the world from a great evil. Why, your orbs of light aren't even lukewarm with destiny. I demand that you shout and leave my chambers immediately. This may have not been the best idea. They are being helped on this quest by the unlikely pair of white mage and black belt who seem to be up to some serious scheming. Just so you know, this art of science walking seems to involve stepping on a lot of dry twigs. That's just your imagination, boss. Er, uh, you have a very loud imagination. Fix it. Oh sure, just let me find my hammer so I can beat some sense into the problem itself. Did you guys hear something? Just the non-stop flow of money into my various overseas bank account. I heard the haunting melody of a natural 20 being rolled. Which is then followed up by rolling maximum damage. What was the question? He asked if you heard it. <coughs> mm, nope. The only wham I heard was that one just now. Oh, good. Those accursed light warriors are no doubt on their way here to rescue the fair, yet very evil. Person. 
Princess Sarah. She has been hard at work in the library lately. She said my bad guy speech was no good, so she's working on a new one for me. I don't know what was so bad about it. <coughs> I am Garland. Would you like some fresh baked cookies? I mean, just because I'm evil doesn't mean I have to be rude. It's important to me to be a good host. That's just how I was raised, you know. We are living in a society, after all. We have rules. Without them, we'd be no better than... than... <laughs> forest imps. <laughs> but evil Princess Sarah won't have any of it. You know, sometimes I wonder if she's getting into this a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like she enjoys playing out the evil side. I don't even know where she got that evil outfit. But I'm sure I'm worried about nothing. What's she gonna do? Assert me as the main villain when I'm clearly the superior evildoer? Ha! Damn it, Fighter, stop thinking about the family circus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come. Help. Help. Little Billy's comics. Genius. It's the front window busted. Who's going first? I'll share the back row with whoever wants me to stab them repeatedly. Back off. Ooh. I'll stick near, though not actually in the back row. I take hits like a little schoolgirl. Where fight? Ooh. Fair enough. At any rate, I'd much rather be stuck next to you than fighter. Maybe we can exchange theories and practices on evil in between battles. Let me just find my list. Uh. Beat? Red Mage? Or on? Huh. Give me some credit. I know a trick when I see one. I won't fall for that so easily. It's almost too easy. I don't know. See, my poster was inspiring. But this painting of me you had commissioned is just all wrong. That doesn't even look like Look, me. would you just shut up about the renovations? I finished your speech, I captured the Light Warriors, all you have to do is walk into the dungeon and read the script. Now march! Man, I can't believe you guys are stupid enough to get caught. Sheesh. How are we stupid if you got caught too, hmm? DM's razor sharp wit cuts an answer from a myriad of lies. I meant to get captured. A wizard did it. A dog and them into the grave. Don't change the subject. Right. Anyway, where do you think we are? Subject being that you are stupid. Kind of looks like a dungeon. Moaning without bars. In generally friendly atmosphere. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle. Where'd you get all this high-tech equipment? A wizard did it. Anyway, that's not important now. A wizard? That doesn't even make sense. I want his name. His true name, if possible. Look, do you accept the existence of Warmack? You'd have to be a fool not to. Okay then, so what's wrong with the war room? Still, it, it seems awfully extravagant, don't you think? That's what villains are! It's what separates them from bandits and lackeys! I suppose you're right. And all this stuff clearly is impressive looking. I'm sure to make it big now. Well, when you spend half of your life in and out of villains' hideouts, you pick up a few points. Now, to take care of our guests. Is this where my fresh baked cookies come into the master plan? Are you even trying? Hey, what happened to the dungeon camp? Ugh, those morons managed to escape while I was trying to explain to you the importance of actually being evil for the purpose of money. Don't worry, evil Princess Sarah. I'll go check on them. I hope it's warm enough in there. The guest dungeon can get awful drafty in this time of year. How did you not only miss us, but manage to zap yourself? And now the fire's been taken out. Not so fast, RM. ta -da! But how? Heck, fuck mage does it all the time. It never fucking works. Hi guys, how are things? Can I get you anything? Perhaps some fresh cookies. There's some Mr. Pib in the fridge if you like. He's ruining everything! Okay, so that's two Mr. Pibs, a Dr. Pepper, an RC Cola, a bucket of cheesy chips, and some chocolate bars, a chocolate bar in the ship of a sword, and a giant bowl of popcorn. Anything else I can get you? Uh, no, that will, uh, be just fine. Thanks. Great. I'll be back in a few minutes with your order. Didn't you see that? Garland is so hideously evil that he can afford to be nice before he kills us. He must be so powerful that even the shiniest sword could not save us from Okay, so we know that Garland is so evil and powerful that we don't stand a chance against him in a head-on attack. Right! 
And therefore, I propose the following. Rather than waiting for our eventual and painful demise, we surprise attack Gar in the very instant he returns. That's all well and good, RM, but we haven't much time before the fiend gets back. That's where my astounding collection of stats, feats, bonuses, and specializations come into play. I shall develop a brilliant plan of attack through a mere roll of the dice. This planet is best involved me and so then hitting people with the sword. And just how do you propose to do that? I thought all of these alleged stats of yours were geared towards combat and magic. Oh, thank you. So true, DM. So true. Thus, I must invoke the most hallowed and powerful art known to my secret cobble. So far, I've developed the power of being stupid. It is known among my kind as the Rite of Stat Swap. By simply ordering my other stats, I can channel their points into my intelligence score, thus making me phenomenally smart. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. By simply ordering my other stats, I can channel their points into my intelligence score, thus making me phenomenally smart. Using my artificially enhanced intelligence, I have just concocted an amazing scheme to get us out of here. Really? I just want what you did with change of numbers on your character sheet, and then roll a few dice. Precisely! As good as dead. Now let you guys peruse it, and be amazed by my incredible intellect. I'll be amazed if this power of yours doesn't completely suck. One! A garden arrives with our tasty snacks. Two! Black Mage zaps garden with a super fireball. Three! Fires the thus far unseen Vargas do so technique to cripple Garland. Four, Thief uses Garland's credit cards to rack up immense charges in the online porn sites to simultaneously ruin his credit rating and reputation. Five, Red Mage receives experience bonuses for the encounter. They include, but are not limited to, making a plan, making a plan of work, making a plan of sex a day, and staying in character. Six, a light warriors return triumphantly to Cremeria, where they are heralded as the greatest heroes of all time. Yay. So, what do you guys think? I like my part. Me too. Well, it'll be such a bad as I have been. Completely surrounded by morons. Alright, everyone. Garland will be here any moment. Places. What the hell is Feet doing? I'm a Feet. We're attacked from the shadows. Shadows, I can understand, but you're on the roof. You're one to talk. What are you talking about? You're supposed to open up this whole attack with a massive fireball spell. Yet you're in the very back. They let my plan to accidentally murder you for it. Look, just keep an eye out for Garland. My highly attuned and super sensitive thief sensors detect the distinctive thing plane from Garland's armored boots heading this way. Where is he already? I'm just trying to cramp up. Be patient. Hey there, guys. I got your food right here. Hold on while I unlock the door. There's so much food, I can't fit the cart in here. Oh, well, who got the popcorn? Uh, oh yeah. I can only do one hood organ per day. Damn little man's spells. I feel bad about it, but it's Red Mage's fault, since this was his dumb plan. Mm hmm, yeah, you'd think I would have remembered that, but for my super boosted intelligence and everything. Ah, uh, new plan. Thief, get him! My arms got tired. Fighter, you're our only hope now. And our chances of victory rest squarely on your shoulders. Do you have the encumbrance ready to carry us through the treacherous path of triumph? Fighter? This popcorn is great. It's just finally enough about going overboard. We have clearly reached the point where only rampant and unchecked stabbing can save us. And my first act as self appointed stab master is to slay my comrades. Fifteen minutes later! Okay, so the snacks were really good. They did make a tasty last meal. Oh, you guys. It was nothing. Now then, is there anything else I can do for ya? Well, now that you mention it, don't kill us! us! I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> anyway, gotta go back to the control room. See ya. Did you guys hear that? He said he wouldn't kill us. Is that what this means? Yes. He's, He's going, going to us until he better be dead. Meanwhile, outside the castle. Well, this is where their trail went. Where could they have gotten off to? If only there was a sign. Well, that'll do. 
I don't see why you're making such a big deal out of this. They are our guests. It would be rude to not feed them. What part of this whole villain thing do you not understand? While the Night Warriors prepare for the arduous battle ahead of them. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <Die>, fighter. <laughs> so much to live for. And the forces of evil rally themselves against the coming dawn. I'm tired of your bungling. I'm taking you to the dungeon personally, and we'll take care of this little light warrior infestation once and for all. A power of pure and incomparable horror unwatched gathers its might in the darkness. Their frenzied calls echoing through the ancient halls are enough to drive a sane man to the brink of madness. So imagine what they're capable of against a sucker like Garland. Did you hear that? It's just the castle settling. You say so. Why are we stopping here? Mm, oh, sorry. It's just that these posters of yours never cease to repulse me. Anyway, let's get moving. Those light warriors need to be taught a lesson in pain. Good evil lie. Shut up. I'm still not so sure about this. Being a villain is all so new to me. There's nothing to worry about. Just follow these instructions, okay? Let's see here. I, Garland, destroyer of souls, will be as an endless plague upon your lap. Wow, this is really good stuff. Of course it is, you dolt. I wrote it. Man, those light warriors don't stand a chance. The evil Princess Sarah, didn't you see? Quit dawdling and move it! I could have sworn. I can't wait to double cross that moron. Meanwhile, back in the guest dungeon, the Light Warriors are hatching a foolproof plan to escape. So you see, if by allowing me to kill you three, I'll be able to at least die with some dignity. And smart. If I double cross my comrades, maybe I can live. I told you we should have leveled up first. Garland, at last we meet. Again. Uh, wait a minute. Just make it quick. Okay, Garland, this is it. This is your chance to shine. This is your moment in the sun. Err, wait, shouldn't be my moment in the dark since I'm evil. Anyway, just don't screw this up. All you've got to do is read from your script. I'll just open up the old scroll here and... Well? But Sarah, this isn't what you- Just do it already! Um... So... Uh... <laughs> I... You... <laughs> Why would they draw that? Okay, so there's no need to panic. I'll just have to improv something. Something so evil, so vile, so mean that the Light Wars will give up without a fight. I'm tired of being frightened and terrible. Yeah, you should just hurry up and kill it. I... Garland will... Uh, knock you all down! Why me? That went even better than I could have dreamed! What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? My speech was so evil that it snapped their minds like little brittle twigs. The only thing that has snapped around here lately is my patience! I want to know how you screwed this up, Garland. Give me that speech now! Considering the contents of this paper right here in my hand, I think you'll find my speech a work of absolute genius. See? Considering what I had to work with, I'd say I did an excellent job. Yes, an excellent job. Would you mind explaining this? But, 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 but I, this isn't, how? Needless to say, you will be punished in a severe and blood-curdling manner, and I mean that literally. I don't get it. This wasn't here before. It was a death threat directed at me. But your punishment will have to wait until we dispatch these heroes. It's impossible. What could have happened to that pair? <laughs> that, that laughter. It, it can't be. But it is! <laughs> yeah! 
I'll be back with your doom in just a moment. Okay. How did you get us lost? We're not lost. We're, uh, exploring. Exploring? Er, uh, yeah, you know, for our treasures and stuff. I see. And it doesn't bother you at all that we're doing this instead of fulfilling our destiny? Not really. I figure the world owes us. Or it will owe us when we triumph as per our destiny. So, what's wrong with taking time out? How does the world owe us for doing the right thing? I think I saw a treasure chest around here somewhere. Okay, we'll talk about the ethical ramifications of using destiny. Right now, I'm more worried about LG. It could be in danger. If you're so hung up on this whole destiny thing, then you shouldn't be worrying. How do you figure that? Well, if you really believe that we're all just playing around our predestined roles to save the world, then technically we've already won. It's just a matter of catching up with fate. Er, uh, how did I get back here? I knew it! We are lost! Grah! Speaking from a purely philosophical perspective, we're not lost so much as spatially displaced. You failed philosophy, didn't you? Big time. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. The giant bowl of popcorn. The giant bowl of popcorn. The giant bowl of popcorn. Popco, 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 popcorn. Oh well, who got the popcorn? I want to know is this. How did you get us lost? Look, this isn't as easy as I make it look, you know. It's not like this is some ordinary rundown castle. This is the Temple of Fiends. Fiends, I say. Do you have any idea what that does to a place? Hmm? Do you? This is the architecture of insanity, the towers of madness. So excuse me if we have trouble navigating through the abnormal psychology imbued within these walls. Abnormal psychology? Architecture of insanity? What are you babbling about? This castle isn't some twisted experiment in non Euclidean geometry. It wasn't erected by demons of madness, and it's not built on purely theoretical esoteric physics. It's a straight run. A blind, mentally deficient monkey could have found his way. These monkeys of which you speak, are they mentally deficient by human or monkey standards? Because that can really make a difference, if you think about it. In some cases, I'm not so sure. Meanwhile! <laughs> Those imps will never see me coming with this perfect disguise. They just don't know who they're messing with. There you are. Now get back to the guest dungeon and destroy those meddlesome light warriors. Er, uh, um, <clears throat> I, I, I think you must have me confused for somebody else. I am not believing this. Garland, we don't have time for this. Garland? So it... Who is Garland? I am... Uh, Barry. But I'd have to say, and this is a completely unbiased opinion, mind you, it sounds like this Garland guy is really evil and good looking. And you should go easy on him. Remember, this is his first time being a real villain. Garland? Barry. Okay, Barry. If you see Garland, let him know that I will personally carve the word agony over every inch of his flesh with a rusty knife. Since you put it that way, <clears throat> I mean, I'm pretty sure I saw Garland in the vicinity of the guest dungeon. I'll just go relay that message of yours. I just hope this disguise works on the imps as well as it has on Sarah. Mere moments later on the way to the guest dungeon. The cursed fiend. What were the odds that he'd run into us within this impossible maze? It's just one fall. How could he not find us? Three minutes later, in the guest dungeon. So, how's it going? I don't get it. How could you take this long and still not have defeated Garland? I don't know. Seems like such a simple task. You'd think we'd be past this by now. If only I could free myself. And then perform some daring act to free the rest of us? Um, sure, I guess. For a price, of course. In retrospect, I should have seen that coming, but that's exactly why I have formulated yet another brilliant plan! 
Oh good, because that first brilliant plan of yours worked out so well that it got us here in the first place. No, 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 this one's much better. It depends entirely on fighter. I would jump into the acid right the hell now just to save time, but I wouldn't be able to hear your own horrible acidy screams of death. Alright, here's the plan. Fighter. Fighter? My brain feels kind of funny. Probably because it's never gotten blood to it before. Fighter, you've got to listen very, very carefully. Our very lives depend on you. You haven't noticed how... If this has anything to do with swords, I'll be stabbing you while we're in the acid. Never mind. You've got the best strength stat, Fighter, so we're going to perform a stat check against your strength to see if you can break these ropes with your mighty muscles. Wait, why don't they just accelerate our trip into the acid? And to be honest, if the plan has any flaws, it would be that the whole thing really hinges upon the best case scenario in which we manage to avoid the acid. This is the best plan you could come up with, even after your alleged boost in intelligence. No, heck no. That wore off a while ago. I'm working on pure instinct now, baby. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus on a pogo stick, we're screwed. Are we gonna stand around all day, or are we gonna kill them? Well, I guess it's the villainous thing to do. I would just like to reiterate that this is by far the worst plan I have ever heard about. Ever. That's what you said about sword jumps. Point, this is the second worst plan, etc, etc. Oh, nuts. Trust me guys, this one is going down in the history books. Three thousand years later! Earth children hope your history of the most fatally horrible plan, and other painful events come to put to the section on the carbon form of Red Mage. End of line. But there's three full chapters of Orkin's Red Mage. Yes. Yes, there are. This material will be on the dirty test. Man, I hate the future. And it's all Red Mage's fault. Meanwhile! Well, all I'm gonna do is get my emergency 20 sided from my breast pocket by using my teeth and then roll it! I rolled my dice into the acid. One turn into crap in the hole, don't you think? Well, my plan failed. All we have to look forward to now is the great re roll in the sky. Fine, I'll bite. It's only the final moments of my life. Why shouldn't I waste them with witless brother? What is a great re roll in the sky supposed to be? And it's what happens when you die. I can only pray to sweet, merciful evil that it won't go into detail about it. There are many names for it. The Tartarus, Niflheim, the Trash. But when you die, your character sheet goes there and you become nothing. I hate you so much right now, evil. The gods re-roll your stats so they can start over. In this, we become reborn. Though we may start off with some bonus XP due to our previous time in the mortal world, we retain no memory of our time here. Can I say something real quick here? The Destin Saviors of the world, you guys aren't that bright. Black Mage, just cast a big, horrible, destructive fireball spell so we can get out of here. Well, you see, the thing of it is... I mean... Uh... He can only do that once every day. Uh, yeah, but it's, uh, never been a problem before. I'm always ready. Yup. Nothing wrong with my stamina, not a thing. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure it happens every single time. Shut up, man, I told you, it's glandular, I can't help it. I would have touched the subtext of this conversation with the image of I suppose I shall begin the unnecessarily slow process. That will eventually deposit the Light Warriors into our man of acidic, um, acid. Finally. That's not necessary. Really, you can just let us go. We promise not to thwart your schemes. What kind of Light Warrior are you? The cowardly kind. What's it look like? I don't get it. All of this has been pre-ordained. We are but playing out the roles given us by the little hand of faith. I've been brought up in the church of white and white knowing this. My entire life has been dedicated to preserving our heritage and our knowledge. I, and I alone, was chosen by the Lord to combat the great mess, nay, a plague that would beset all the world. And yet, here I am, dangling just a few inches from my own painful and undoubtedly slow demise. Is fate but a guide? Is it something that we must live up to, or something we must overcome? If anything, the elders talk to me about the world, and our role in it is the truth. And we must escape. Something, anything, has to happen. Please, 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 don't let it all be a lie. Please? Oh, hell, let's just drop them. <laughs> Um, mm. This is awfully sticky for acid. And not 
Oh, what's the word? Acidic? Yeah. Marlin? But, 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 that's impossible! I filled the vat of acid myself! Which is precisely why you'll be severely punished for this incompetent display. Maybe it's a very slow-acting acid? Well, Marlin, it'll be fitting when I kill you slowly, won't it? <laughs> oh, how I pity you. Uh, pitiful villains right now. Yeah, I'd hate to be in her non not do so shoes. Now's not the time for sarcasm, baby. Now is the time for nefarious action. Hmm, it looks like Black Mage is up to something. I wonder what it could be. Oh, please. If it'll make you feel better, then go ahead and make your little threat. It's not as though there's anything you'd say at this point that will change the fact that you will soon be corpses. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe it's a plan that'll get us out of here. I sure hope it involves swords and me using the swords, I mean. Because, you stupid face, you forgot to take into account that I can cast devastatingly powerful level 9 spells. With but the slightest twitch of my magey hands, I could explode you completely dead. And it would be messy, so there. Damn his beady little eyes. He got us right where he wants us. Wait a second. That's not right. Don't let him fool you, lady. He already cast his level 9 spell from the day a while ago. You're still safe. Maybe you can kill the rest of us, but I beg of you, let me finish it off. Please. I'll consider it a last request, okay? Silly black maid. He accidentally lied to the villains, but luckily I remembered that real heroes always tell the truth. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Oh, how I pity you, uh, pitiful villains right now. Don't let him fool you, lady. He already cast his level 9 spell from the day a while ago. You're still safe. Something else for once. Non level 9 spells really aren't my alien. But you certainly are an idiot. Black Belt. Yo! Hit Sir Armor of Gothic here until he stops thinking conscious thoughts. Gladly! Yar! Oh, oh, yeah. oh god! Oh, yeah. I was unaware that the Lord has had access to the cult of Wiss. Repeating fist! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah! No celerity for that matter. Shut up and enjoy the free ass, don't you? Actually, I think I might have heard his spleen rupturing. That's hardly strange when you consider how brutally he's being beaten. Oh, that was definitely his spleen. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle. Those bumbling light warriors will never suspect me. Well, being a villain was a nice change of pace. Nothing more to do now than just sit here and wait to be rescued. Yep, just gotta return to my boring old life at Cornaria Castle. Triple rising. We are clearly dealing with a deranged individual. Blah 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 blah. Well, thank you, white mage. Why am I stuck with this? Well, Red Mage and Thief exposing to the Mountain Dew Bats so no one else finds it easy to tell. And Black Bird is still back there in the guest torture room beating the living bejesus out of gold. And there is absolutely no chance of any of the thousand hells I would ever, 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 ever so much as walk around with you unless under extreme duress. So, we start with Black I see. Now, just how much duress are we talking about? Are you going to spoil the bottom water? Or are you going to turn it up? The contents of the entire universe would collapse into a single point. It still would not be enough to rest. I don't like it. What? That's that theory? Jeez, isn't Black Belt done hurting God yet? Well, you have to say that about him. He's fine. If you ask me, you can't get more thorough than a dose of Ultima. It's ten gallons of kick ass and a five gallon jello. Do you know that spell? Well, not as such, no. See, I don't belong to the theoretical tenth spell. 
to really the ultimate spell. In theory, see, last you would split an item by focusing your willpower into it. His bike felt now. I think I got some on me. Kind of sticky. See how hard I have to shake to get it off. You're getting blood on my armor. You call me, but what that guy just beat someone to death with his bare hands. And you've got some in my hair, too. Sorry. And you were around the other world map with him like it was nothing. I don't even know where to take armor to get it clean. It's different when he kills someone, he's a monk. Hey, tell me, how rigorous is the entrance exam for monk college? Is there like a bathroom or something? I need to clean up. This is an outrage. Yes, Black Belt. There's a bathroom down the hall on your left. Thanks, White Page. Be back soon. Did I mention the outrage? We'll be here waiting for you. So that's it then. Oh, looks as though I've got a spot of blood on me for massively beating someone to death. Don't mind me if I step up and put myself down. Just like that? Like it was nothing? It's sick! Why, Black Mage, I didn't know you would like this. I just assumed you were a vile little monster with a blackened heart pulsing with evil. Well, I don't like to brag. But here you are, genuinely appalled by the inhuman treatment of your fellow man. I had no idea you were capable of so much compassion. I guess I was wrong about you all along, Black Mage. Can you ever forgive me? Here I go. What are you talking about? I'm just pissed off because you can get away with it so easily. This floor is filthy. I mean, jeez, but I could kill like ten times as many people if I didn't have to worry about the legal repercussions of town guards. And here Black Belt is the monk of fan community and he's just wasting it. Give me the power to kill with impunity. I'd break the damn good news. Man, just thinking about it makes me giddy like a little school mage. Where would I begin? I have to fight her, of course. Black Mage is so funny, as if he never hurt me. I'm his bestest friend. Anyway, can we just get on with the adventure? Garland has been defeated. So now we have to find the princess and save her. Of course, he wasn't exactly defeated the way he's supposed to be in the prophecies. But a defeat is a defeat, I guess. Well, well here comes, comes Black Belt. Hi guys, who's that handsome Hi fellow? Hi guys, who's that handsome fellow? What? The hell. I have a terrible feeling that I know what's going on. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are any of you talking about? Black Belt, did you make it to the bathroom? Well, it's funny you should ask. I was on my way to the bathroom on my way so I could wash up. But then I got lost in these halls of insanity, and I wandered around these weird limbo universe where I felt like game. But then I finally found the bathroom and came back. I don't believe it! You got yourself so lost that time and space folded in around you, thus creating a pocket universe that spat you out again approximately one second behind yourself. It's not my fault this it's castle my built out of insanity. Built out of insanity. It's a straight line. There's no maze. <laughs> we had too many black belts in here before. Let's just kill one and get on with it. What we have here constitutes a major break in causality. We can't afford to take such a flippant attitude. Blah 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 blah. The natural order has been disrupted. This could possibly even alter the fate of our mission. Temporal inversions are not to be taken lightly. There's no telling what sort of impact this act of incredible incompetence on Black Belt's prime part will have on the outcome of our most busy life. Plus, it can't be too comfortable to have his consciousness switch across time like this. It's not. It's not. I see your point, my page. We must deal with this chronological catastrophe in a calm and responsible manner. The fate of the universe rests in our hands. Now then, you seem to be the closest one. Uh, I'm not sure that's the best. So. Now the dispense with the evidence to victory. Otherwise, my mage might figure out what I've done and lecture me on the temporary ethics. I'm right there. So you are. So you are. You know, I'm down at the smaller black mage who you've got to say. Yoink! Damn it. That's BM for you. Always stab into the heart of the problem. The phrase is cutting to the heart of the problem. No, it's definitely more of a stabbing motion. Finally, this damn bat must weigh a ton. Really? I have noticed thanks to little manipulation of my stats. Well, anyway, it looks like we found the backyard of things. This is as good a place as any to dump the goo. Are you sure that's such a good idea? I mean, what about the ecological ramifications of introducing this built into the local habitat? As it so happens, RF, I have a theory on that very subject. Can I hear it? By all means, I insist that you elucidate further on this subject. Well, the way I see it, nature is a delicate balance of biological energy originally derived from the sun, introducing mechanical energy into that balance of the scales. When that happens, ecological devastation soon follows. That's bad. But if we do away with the dew, our contribution to the mechanical rate of the land on a global scale is next to nothing. See, I hereby pronounce your theory to be a plus five plus five theory of enlightenment. What are we waiting for? Ah, uh, do you smell that? That hard burning smell? 
gone, the smell of not having to lug that down with that gun around. Sorry, I can't get past the burning. Of course, there is a small chance that even I seem to be negative in the contribution of being part of the story. Right, you miserable bastard. Well, 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 it looks like our job here is done. Yes, and I have gained a revolutionary new insight into the workings of space and time. My theories would have reformed all of modern thought. Would have? Well, Black Mage killed me for one second in the past, so I've retro-historically forgot his point of view of the experience. It's given me a headache, but on the bright side, at least I'm not dead. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother with you. Why is that? Never you mind. Anyway, fighter? Yo! We must now go our separate ways. Uh, I was hoping to talk about swords with Black Belt. I think Black Mage and Company miss out on the subtle nuances of sword talk. Thanks for the offer, but I'm really more of a nunchuck guy. Even better! See, for years I've been lamenting the limitations inherent in Zorka, so one day I went and had the best- Um... Yeah, that was me. Sorry guys, I thought the smoke bomb would last longer. No more discount than just by Zorka me. Farewell, Brave Fighter. I'm sure our paths will soon cross once more. Where are we? Who are we? Why do I pilot martial arts? I'll lead the way if you don't mind, McGowan. So, I'll just wait here until BM and the others get back. Back! Well, that was enough for me. Well, I don't like to brag, not that it'll stop me, but it's a little thing I like to call haste. Wait, do you mean haste? Yes. Yes, we have. That doesn't make sense. Can't we just walk back when those spells cast? Hold on now. As the official leader of the Light Warriors, in that position I certainly did not earn in the Treasury, I feel that it is my responsibility to resolve this dispute. To wit, it is my sincere belief that looting the brutally slain body of Garland will bring peace to these two warring factions, especially if you had anything rare and valuable, a gem like tucked away in that suit of armor of his, but especially if that gem like thing is worth a fortune. But especially if he has some stabbing items too. Or a king has made weapons. What's that got to do with anything? Well, we won't know until we find out. This is not the right thing to do. So it's only with that one. Ever since I just figured out that how we didn't carry a spell book. That's a real shame I'm gonna go back. Yeah! Interesting. Nice. Jerks. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. found a dilly of a pickle of a mystery. Don't talk like that. Sickens me. Maybe you can help us solve this mystery. Stop saying the word mystery. I am so not in this. Can one of you rocket scientists tell me what general stupidity is going on about? Well, looks like BM got a natural 20 on his sarcasm model. I believe I can shed some light on this mystery. Can we please stop saying mystery for like 10 seconds? Hey gang, I just found a clue. We're closer than ever to solving this mystery. What did you find, Aram? And does it back up my insightful intergalactic ghost theory? Yes, today's newspaper! We're about to witness an inverse relationship between the number of stab wounds I inflict on you and the number of answers you start giving me. Please allow me to enlighten our fellow Light Warrior Black Mage. I might finally get some use out of this orator skill. And it's quite simple, really. Fighter Thief and I were going to pillage any goods, valuable swords, or stab boosting items found on Garvin's person. Since he was a boss character after all, it's not unusual to expect that he might have been holding something that could have proven useful to our quest. However, what we found instead has shocked and horrified us to our very cores. All that remained of the Dread Knight Garland was his armor. Bum bum bum. You don't have to say bum bum bum, it's implied. The obvious question we are presented with here is the following. What would an intergalactic ghost want with yesterday's news? Inter- What are you talking about? See, my theory is that aliens from the other side of the galaxy have travelled to our side of the galaxy so they could kidnap Garland and perform all kinds of experiments on him to better understand how to enslave us all. I'm pretty sure that Mr. Pip and Dr. Pepper figure rather prominently in this scheme. What? It all makes sense. Intergalactic aliens would make the simple mistake of forgetting to put a dot at the end of Mr. and Doctor. Damn. 
So anyway, got any real ideas about this? Ooh, a corner. Mom, Colin is the villain. I Damn it. What? Uh, I mean, I just remembered that I uh, left my magic on in my house where I live. So you were saying? Basically, since Garland seems to be the main villain, he has certain advantages. Amongst these traits is a sort of narratological imperative. In essence, his defeat today was meaningless, as he'll just appear again, only more powerful next time. So we've struck him down, only to make him become more powerful than we could possibly imagine? <laughs> Shouldn't we go after him? I'm sure we Wow, I ran really far. One side run. I've got some light warriors to encounter. I've never seen a group of more pathetic losers in all my life. I'm a light warrior, lady. Well, that was easy. Anyway, I've got something to ask you. Okay, well, I can't guarantee you'll like me. And why is that? I don't know. Black Mage usually goes into homicide and rage on it. Anyway, why has it taken you, Light Warrior, so long to complete so much as the simplest of tasks? I think it mainly has to do with the gross lack of swords by my companions. I see. So you're saying there's a lack of suitable equipment then? While we're on the subject, can you think of any other easily exploitable weaknesses? You mean other than our almost pathological inability to trust one another? Or the fact that BM, RM, and Thief are so busy trying to screw us all over that we can't really function in combat? Then yes, I'd say our easily exploitable weaknesses are this big. Does that estimation include your own stupidity and vulnerability? Heck no. Then please, go on. Sure, but what are you writing down? Just making some notes on an unrelated matter. We really ought to talk to my friends about this stuff too. That won't be necessary. I'm sure you can tell me everything I need to know. Dude, I'm telling you, it's not going to work. Like Shredder emerging from the ooze, I am. Super Red Mage! I'd say this is easily a plus four, plus four armor of kick ass. More like a plus stupid, plus dumb armor of idiot. Plus stupid, plus dumb. <laughs> I got a ride that down. Classic. That was far more lame than my your HP or your GP line. You were that uh -oh. beast. I knew you looked familiar. That's my bygone be amnesia dust in the face. Ha! What is this? Cow Campana? Uh, I feel like my bros. Thanks. Suckers. I'd be more upset, but I'd hate the pain for me anyway. Even so, it's the principle of it. It's going to go I'm too heavy. Do you hear that? Really? <laughs> Any plans for when we get back to the area this weekend? I don't know. Um, that arachnidude is pretty cool. Don't you mean spy? He said arachnidude! Let's leave it at that, hmm? Captain Pajamas, Sticky Fingers, I'll leave him in your hands. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to go single-handedly save a film genre. I wish I was. Well, that was not good. I would just have death from the sky. Well, at least I got that armor off. You gotta fly a fighter in that princess and get out of here already. It shouldn't be difficult to find either of them, really. And this is a rather simplistic castle, like Bell's navigation powers <laughs> notwithstand. What are you laughing at? I was happy at that, You guys totally suck. Well, that's enough exploitation. I mean, information for now. Are you sure? Because I know all kinds of tactics that could be applied against the few strengths we actually possess. Princess Sarah, are you okay? Just resisting urges. Yeah, I know how that is. Especially at this time of year. I don't even know what that means. Or what it could be in reference to. Uh, well, let's see... Um... I'd love to explain it to you, but here comes Black May. He's at the other end of the hall. You could be explaining it right now. You don't want to know, man. Trust me, it's more stupid than weird. Anyway, can we finally get out of this castle? It's not as it ends, and not in a good way. That should be a good spot. Well, you see, here comes me. And so, with Garland soundly defeated and the lovely Princess Sara soundly saved, the Light Warriors finally got out of the smelly Temple of Fiends. Finally. Man, it felt like we were in that castle forever. And yet, it would seem that the sun hasn't moved an inch in all that time. And they laugh when I spent my precious points on astronomy, but who's laughing now? <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about that, sometimes I go mad with power. It's one of my crafty character faults, and I'm sure we'll never have to worry about it kicking in at inopportune moments. Yeah, what are the odds? That's just crazy. Feel an old RM betray us? Never. What fools these light warriors be? 
Not to criticize our formation, but aren't we working in the exact opposite order that we should be for random combat? I mean, from a purely tactical standpoint, putting our weakest character in the very front is the tactical equivalent to rolling a botch on the truck to determine how bad you botched your two-hit bad guy roll. No offense, Black Mage. I'm taken. Dexter. I am on the roll. Anyway, this is how I see it. It's a short war, so you want to run into a random account. No great heavenly DM in the sky, we're screwed. Yeah, whatever, point next up. Mm, that's fine. No! Jeez, what's wrong with you guys? I've been asking myself that same question ever since I got kidnapped. It's not like you did anything dangerous. All I did was take one little step forward. Like this. See, it's perfectly harmless. Kinda like you guys, but we were just stabbed in it. Uh, you know, for example. A random encounter with one million chance. Besides, we seriously think the monsters can just appear out of nowhere and attack us. Which there is more of a magic reason for them to find us. Stories are about conflict, so if you expect random battles to occur without rhyme or reason, and for them to have no impact on the story, well then they're completely pointless. Ouch. I like to spot a honey in the morning's heat. All those that think BM has officially bonked out permission say aye. Hi. Hi. Yo. Whatever. I want a pony princess girl, Bumsy. Close enough. As legally binding leader of the Light Warriors, I command Red Mage to come up with another of trademark daring and brilliant plans. No problem, Pete. Except I'm gonna need some time to fully articulate my latest master plan of victory. In the meantime, you'll have to distract our giant friend. How am I supposed to do that? You're a thief! Use your high charisma for your wow and with your witty repartee! Of course, if I can sell ice to ice jokes, the distract from this person should be a child's play. Let's see, let's see, we've got to distract this giant for uh, I need some top Got it. A priest, a giant, and a giant priest walk into a bar. These missions sure look Carry the two. Don't worry, Princess Sarah will be rid of this giant in no time. Rib Mage's plans always work out. Well, except for his plan to get us weapons before our quest began. Or his plan to kill those werewolves in Inks Forest. Or his plan to jump Garland in the guest dungeon before he could kill us. Or his plan to free you guys from the Vat of Acid. But how did you know about that? Well, Quite simple. Amnesia dust. Ha! I think it's just talcum. Amnesia dust. Where am I? Where am I? So the priest says, "That's no giant. That's my wife." <laughs> RM, how was that time? I'm almost got it all figured out, Pete. Keep him busy for another minute or two, and we can get down to business. I don't think I can spare another minute. I'm dying out. Just you wait, Princess Sar. We'll get you out of this in no time. What? Okay, how about another joint? How many giants does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. How many giants does it take to screw in a light bulb? None! Because giants know that they are so damn fugly that the light would be afraid to come out in the first place. Ah! <laughs> oh man, I love that one. It's a classic, I tell you. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Suicide. Why did I get hit again? Oh! There goes that plan. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Suicide. Why did I get hit again? Oh. There goes that plan. Giants make giants sad. There are only room for one grammar impaired sad giant. Grammar impaired sad giant? Who the hell said that? The soak! You know what makes soak sad. God damn it, we must have the lamest superheroes. If soak lose fight, soak listen to old cure albums. I mean, seriously, we got the likes of Arachnadude, Alloy Guy, and the Mediocre Four. If we know those guys are soak here, it's no wonder we need the light warriors to save the world. Fragile mage man no like soak. <laughs> I am such a cat. Ah, red mage. Aw, oh, poor 
slash soul. Okay, now let me make sure I've got all this straight. We're up against the giant, but managed to take out 50% of our team with little effort. And now you and I have to brainstorm an ingenious plan of attack. <clears throat> I am here too, you know. I could help with your little attack plan. Seems like you need that really well. Please, Regisara, the light warrior you're talking about. You better hope that whatever god you have fallen, this giant kill you before I have the chance to do it more painfully. Did you say something, Princess Sara? Oh, heavens no! What can I possibly contribute to your man talk? So, any fort spider? Um, the trick question. The trick question? That's brilliant! Sometimes I think your massive intelligence bonuses are so immense that they fold in upon themselves and transform into stab bonuses. Well, I don't like to brag. I hope this giant has the name of a good doctor, a giant one, because I'm about to put the hurt on. No wait, change my tone to, I hope this giant's insurance is all paid up, because it's wacky time. The wacky time? Do you listen to yourself? Look at you. So looming, so huge, so powerful. You think you've won, don't you? Isn't that right, Mr. Gianty Giant Person? Somehow you managed to get the two, admittedly dull brain cells trapped in that cavernous wasteland you casually refer to as a skull, to bump into one another and form the friction born of that chance meeting you got the idea that you could just stomp around the overworld accosting random travelers such as we and do nasty monstrous things to them, which would be highly invented treatises on the realm of agony if not for the fact that your woefully inadequate intellect can only summon up enough originality and purposefulness to smash us with your very large club. And you think this is just fine. But yes, our point of view, guys, is that it can be regarded by a large group of churches as Christians and blessed giantry, I mean, you say. Aha! I'm glad you brought up the matters of a biological nature, my friend. Very glad. You see, it was this very point which I had hoped to address in your company. Ideally, this would happen before you squish us. Prepare to be flabbergasted by my stupendous debating and public speech skills. Should I hold on to something? Seems to me that these environs are predisposed to not supporting giants. How oh, so? The giants big enough to hold me up in What more do you want? It's not a question of ground to giant ratio, it's a question of potential food to giant ratio. I mean, seriously, how do you expect to have a giant inclined towards beings of my stature to be able to support a single creature of your great girth, much less an entire race of you? It is my convention, dear Mr. Giant, that you do not actually exist. Hell, just looking at you, I can think of half a dozen reasons why you're not really there. You're a walking impossibility. Think about it. A being of your size couldn't be bipedal. Your spine would snap like a twig. For God's sake, man, where do you find enough material for your crude loincloth? Or enough wood to make your enormous club? Or enough leather to fashion your smelly old shoes? Uh, there's a Really big and really tall. Wrong! I'll tell you what you got at all. You got it from nowhere, that's where. And you know why? Because giants don't make sense from an evolutionary standpoint. How does evolution want to do for me? Nothing. Exactly. You never existed in the first place. So evolution couldn't have done anything for you. Well, if I'm not theory, then this won't hurt you. Wait, I have another theory. You're about to miss- Why can't I My die? God. The pain. Ouch. Well done. Hey. Why are you over there? It's called pattern recognition. Look into it. Finally. Now, giant, we can do this one of two ways. The easy way, or the Sarah way. Time like to smash this Christmas. Hey, it's your funeral, pal. Excuse me, fighter, but I'm sure you won't be needing this. I'll only be a moment anyway. You'll never know it was gone. Get a good look at this sword, pal, because it's the last time you'll see it not drenched in your own innards. Hi, stamina, and helping consciousness return third person narration also helps. YOLO! Did you guys see that? Princess Sara, sword, superb technique, fighter in love, and I'm certain that this bloodbath isn't at all characteristic of her. And so the Light Warriors continue to make their way back to Corneria. Look, the point is, they got back to Corneria. It doesn't matter how they did it. Speaking of Corneria, looky there. Now look closer. Closer still. In that window. There. King Steve, the ruler of all Corneria, patiently awaits any news about his kidnapped daughter. Sir, 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 I'll bring news of Princess Sarah's fate. Pray, good sir, tell unto me that which you know of my impelled progeny. Our scouts and the rangers hired from the elven lands have been scouting the countryside. 
Get, they have found no trace of Sarah or the Light Warriors. I can't believe that players <laughs> I am so drunk, man. Woo! I see. You realize, of course, that as a bringer of bad news, it is your civic duty to be executed. I, uh, I, I was not aware that such tradition was in practice. Uh. Oh, I'm kidding. Just a little regal humor for you there. Go on now, off with you. Thank you. Elite Royal Guard Hank. Yo. See to it that the messenger who's just in here is dead before he leaves the castle. No! Did I remember to tell Hank that I was joking? Help! I'm Monster. It eats mages. Must run. Must get away. Gah! <laughs> it was only a dream. Something about a pie monster that ate mages. It was a giant. So now we know that we're not dead. Now we should find out where we are. Right. The answer, I believe, is clear. The giant beat us within an inch of our lives. Then, while we were unconscious, he spirited us away to his giant home, of a magic store of some sort, whereupon he ate Princess Sarah, Thief, and Red Mage. Because this stuff with the delicious meats of our comrades, he put us into storage. Gasp! But wait, this looks more like a hotel room than a fruit pantry. Right. It's just stupid for a giant to have human-sized rooms for a castle. He's obviously cast a giant spell on us. But, wait! If we're giant-sized, then that means swords are no bigger than toothpicks to me. Toothpicks, BM! Toothpicks! I can't very well go around saying I like toothpicks, can I? It makes no damn sense. I'm a fighter, not a food-stuck toothing guy. I don't eat corn on the cob. What do I need with toothpicks? No cob, Black Mage! Cobless! The kids could call me Fighter No Cob McGee, and if McGee were my last name, then it would be perfectly accurate. Are you quite fit? I was thinking I should run around in an idiotic panic. I ain't stopping it. Oh my god, oh my god, a man is just suffering a pain and death and suffering in my direction. Hmm, giant black mage brings death upon the world. I like the sound of that one, Let's see the bleeding heart level press cover. That one. That giant was a fool to give us the advantage of scale. Black mage, I don't think we're really giants. Don't be stupid, of course we're giants, it makes perfect sense. Well, according to this, we're in a guest room. Back in Connie. You're talking crazy. Back up, bright eyes. I'll read that. Okay, so, we're back at the castle, but who's to say that we didn't gain giant power in the meantime? But why would they have giant-sized rooms at Corneria Castle? Well... And how would they have gotten us inside? Maybe... And why would... Shut up! I just want to cause devastation on a global scale. Is that so wrong? You will someday, BM. I know you will. Ah, oh, heck. You're just saying that to make me feel bad. Meanwhile, in the throne room... Well done! back and I'm not dead. That you might like to know. Who are you? How did you get in here? Where's Elite Guard Hank? Where'd that have the suck get off? I just wanted to go home. Dad, we go through this every time. Let's start at the beginning. I'm your daughter, Princess Sarah. I was picking up my garland. So you're saying that I can get rid of these other thief girls and just keep pickpocketing and scared? Yes! But what if I wanted to still say things that aren't in people's pockets? See, that's the beauty of it. Forgery, pickpocket, open luck, knowledge, fevery, bluff. All of these skills become distilled in the essence of this pickpocket. I'm not sure that I can follow. It's simple. See, you can steal all the things you love to steal, only now you'll do it with one skill. Say you want to rub the first bank of Corneria. Well, if you think about it, what's a bank vault, if not a pocket of our architectural origin? Want to tell the city guard a convincing lie? Just empty the truth pockets of their minds. Opening a lock is no problem at all when you can steal the lock right out of its pocket within the door. That has got to be one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard. You could take the points from the unused skills and trade them for a super level up to become a ninja. Ninja? Maybe a super ninja. What like sound of that. Tell me more of the super ninja that you speak. Well, for one thing, you really... Hey, Morons, let's get a move on while the other Moron does something especially moronic. Oh, I know what you're thinking, but I assure you that we are not giants. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a giant. Previously on 8 Bit Chaos. Who are you? How did you get in here? Where's Elite God Hank? Dad, we go through this every time. Let's start at the beginning. Daughter, Princess Sarah, I was kidnapped by Garland. And that's when you hired the...
light warriors to go to the Temple of Fiends to rescue me. And here I am. Right, yes. That effect? No. No. Yes? No. My word. Dad, I finished talking. You can stop pretending to pay attention. Whew, I'd never get through those boring total things without that tactic. You mean those important meetings to discuss policy, law, current events, and so on? Call them what you like, stranger, but it won't make them any less boring. Or talking to them, or thinking. Did you hear anything yes, I just explained to you? Of course. Right, yes. I wonder what we'll get with saving the princess. Well, there's some historical precedence for this sort of thing. Apparently, half of princessing is kidnapping. And according to tradition, we get to marry her. But there's four of us, we all have to get married. Ew. According to another tradition, the heroes get their own parcels of the kingdom to rule. Hmm. Let's just say that King Steve is in no position to be making such an offer. And well, in that case, I suppose the only option available is to reward us with untold riches. All things considered, we really should have gotten the reward in writing. I'm sure how it was fine. Was that about marrying Princess Sarah? Dad, I really think they expect more rescuing me than your strumming guitar. Well done, boys. Princess Sarah tells me that you more or less rescued her. And I'll have to take her word on that. But then again, I have to take her word that I have a daughter named Sarah and that she is her. Oh, Dad. Nevertheless, I'm sure you boys are really looking forward to your ridiculously extravagant reward, am I right? Yes, 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 yes. Well, have I got a reward for you? It's going to take all the money in the treasury to do it, but you guys deserve it. I'll build a bridge! We've been meaning to do it for ages, but now it's a good excuse. What? A bridge to Pontero. It's about time, really. We've been neighbors with them for 500 years now, and I've never dropped by to say hello. Dad, you haven't been to Pontero because 500 years ago, King Joe exiled everyone whose name started with the letter P or Pans. With nowhere to go, they swam the Cornerian Channel, where many of them died, and then formed the Kingdom of Pontero. The bridge has never been built because they hate us, and they take it as an insult to those who died in the Exodus. Oh, so that's where we get the famous Cornerian curse. Um, <clears throat> I hope you drown by European. No, Dad. I'm afraid that the curse you're thinking of has a much more literal and much less metaphorical history attached to it. I don't get it. Where would I be European? I was born here. Okay, but seriously, that whole bridge thing was just a joke, right? So can we please stop talking about this stupid bridge and get on with you giving us a really real book? No, oh, yes, of course. Now then, about that bridge I'm building as your reward. Ah, oh, damn it. How are we rewarded by you building yourself a fucking bridge? What, you don't like bridges? I believe what our robed companion is trying to say is that we were thinking of a reward more befitting the deed. Yes, yes, of course you were, of course. So then, you'd like this bridge to be named after you for? I don't think that's That'd be no problem at all. However, you understand that it would only be an unofficial name. And the official name would be... King Steve's Kick-Ass Bridge. Obviously. How is it 10,000 pounds that the Great Lord counts that a man of your grotesque stupidity become the leader of the most powerful nation in the world? Well, my dad was king, so now I'm king. But now that I think about it, genetics is not a very good system of determining executive power. Even the most capable and caring and beloved leader, much less my greed feeding dad, can have an incompetent son so mind-bogglingly stupid that he could have single-handedly crushed the world's greatest nation down the sewer before the populace of large have a chance to notice, which is exactly what the Cornelian press used to say about me before I decreed that it was the civic duty of the press to never ever question my rule, which I then also decreed to be absolute and perfect. So now even thinking that I'm not a perfect and benevolent ruler is a crime. So now I can do crazy stuff like drill for mana and endangered species for a sweet. You don't actually drill for mana. We do now. And thus King Steve's kick-ass bridge was built. It is already a wreck in the southbound lane. And then the Lord Light Warrior is left. Do you have only people in your country too? You could say that, yeah. Because the alternative was hell. The traffic is always so bad looking to you. Shut up! Well, it looks like we got out of Corneria just in time. You can hear their screams up here. It's a shame about you losing Fee Fairy, though. Oh, I don't know. I had a bazillion gill insurance policy on the kingdom. You kind bastard. Now we can do from mana anywhere! Oh, Dad. Well, now what should we do now? I say we get to Pontero and the wind change we have to smell the burn. Good call in the end. Morbid, but a good call all the same. Hey, I'm here for the sage and disturbing advice. What's so special about this stupid Pontera anyway? And it's the capital of the ruined Midgard Kingdom. The city has a cathedral, a knight's guild, and a park. It's a great annual arena tournament that attracts warriors from all around the- Okay, okay, Captain. I like it. Sounds like there's a lot to do here. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. 
if you enjoy playing leveling up, and I do. Well, looks like we made it to Prod Terra. They must spend a lot of money on landscaping. This place looks like 32-bit. 32-bit? Ah, that's the kind of crazy thing I expect for a man to be like by myself. Everyone knows that the gods are only made of 60. Possibly I can buy it to add 32-bit. Well, I don't know. Gods believe in something? Yeah, laughing people who ask questions with big answers, so shush! <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. I am not an ignorant demon. I have come to this pathetic little plane of a heart of chaos. I am looking for life forms so that I may slay them before they gain power to stand against my master. I was foretold that they would be here. Are you there? Oh yeah, we're the wrong one! Shut up. You have to excuse me. What he meant to say is that the white lords are hiding in this very town. Then I must burn the city to the ground. Well, I'll never do what's gonna do. My arm just sliced off, and now he's going after you! Ah, oh, he's stabbing me! Well, I told you! Penny, Peter, Paul, Pajot, run for it! Wait a second, what the hell what kind of name is Pajot in there? I told you to run! Why didn't you- Well, it's quite simple, really. Or rather, it would be simple, I'm one with a lore, local history, or area knowledge, Cornerian state skills. Or in lieu of those skills, per se, perhaps the jack of all trades now. Frontera was founded by the Peans. It's been a Frontera tradition to give the church a pea name so they wouldn't forget their exodus. But after 500 years, I guess it's just a tradition that people follow without thinking about it. Look out! Features in laser eye beams! But we haven't invented lasers yet! <laughs> Enough! This method of killing weak fleshy sacks is too inefficient! I must destroy this heretic city of Frontera and all who dwell in it so that I may be certain that the libraries are no more. Therefore, I shall transform my very essence into roar of perturbation to ensure victory. I can only hope those four warriors outside the city gate were telling the truth, else my ultimate sacrifice will be for naught. That would be a good time to run for our lives. I agree. Hey, well, they're in Frontera. Thousands of lives lost in the blink of an eye. There'll be no evidence that the city ever was. Hmm? Oh yeah, uh, right, so... Sucks to be them. What? In any case, we'd better be on our way. The rains are nigh upon us. There ought to be a cave north of here where we can stay. You're crazy. Where's our mouth? Debris. Precisely. And where do you think all that airborne debris, including parts of the people, is going to be when it lands? Personally, I like some cover. Again. Meanwhile, within the deepest, darkest corners of Imforest, a force of great evil was exacting its revenge. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Do you guys hear something? Nah. No. <laughs> Man, it's stupid dark in here. Hold it. I refuse to be part of society that encourages rampant abuse of its own language. Fair enough. <clears throat> Man, it's hella dark in here. That was not so hard. Ow! Nay, what's the holdup? Are you fighting up there? Are you hogging my experience? Stay away from my experience points. Daddy needs his medicine. Uh, you can have this experience if you really want to stub my toes on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, stub your toe. And I kind of all the dark about. Sorry about freaking out. It feels kind of ancient. Perhaps it is a very small yet hardy Chthonian entity. Or treasure. I can spell the riches from here. Or I could cast on a one eye light spell so we can see. A level 9 light spell? I thought I heard some nuggets. Yeah, it's called her Dorgan. It exposes cake to daylight by way of a massive explosion. And I'll cast a normal light spell if you don't mind. Wait, you really have a spell that's not directly related to the same thing, Max? Heck no, I've got a glass blower skill in the floor with a specialization in lenses. Ah, oh, yes, I figured you'd lose something. <laughs> well, someone turn that light on so we can see what it is. Flash of light! <laughs> Turn it, t t t turn it off again, please. As team leader, I say that we should run away. For the record, screaming and terror will not be looked down upon. Man, what the hell was up that cave back there? I don't know, but I didn't come my way into this light warrior gig so I could spend my days running from blood rain into a pitch black cave filled with human skulls. Now, what sort of cave would have human skulls in? Let's not return to this cave ever again. It will be known to all the world. As the cave to which we shall not ever return. 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 Guys, this is it. 
This is the cave of no return. We found it. Well, yeah, that's what we've been talking about this whole time. Why can't we talk section where you can make it? We have to go back there. Yeah, we'll get right on that. So let's get as far away from this cave as humanly possible and never come back. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. We've probably gotten the grossest part of this adventure over with. Yeah, I mean, how many caves could there possibly be that incorporate human skulls into their decor? Meanwhile, at Jack's Discount Human Skulls Factory, Jenkins, you're going to have to step up production to meet this newest order. You know what that means? Hit the docks and take the hobo population down a notch or two. Aye! So, let's get moving, shall we? Fighter went back to the cave. And after we officially declared that we'd never go into that cave again, that's a shame. We will be missed. Like throat cat. I guess we'll have to pack up and leave him be. Why are you looking at me like that? We have to go back and get him. Are you kidding me? Do you know what kind of freak cave it would have to be if it's got human skulls lying around? This is exactly the chance that I... Uh, we... Um, no, definitely just me. Anyway, he's gone, and let's face it, probably dead by now. Let's not waste our precious time and all of a huge our search for a slain body. You know what they say? The corpse you find may be your own. They do not say that. Well, mind you, it is hard to speak with six inches of knife sticking out of your face. Mostly they just gurgle and bleed. Oh, come on, we don't really need him in our party. Red Mage can take the win. Hmm, my stats are most optimized if I've got someone in front of me. Okay, then Thief can go in front. I don't care. Uh, my health is most optimized with at least two people in front of me. Look, we don't even know what's in there, other than skulls, of course. And where there's skulls, there's corpses. And where there's corpses, there's giant big monster thingies. Like, I don't know, dragons. Big ones that breathe fire and shoot acid and don't like being disturbed with a lens of us. There's a lot of experience to be had in slaying a dragon. At our current state, we could easily level up by defeating one in combat. Or by trying. I believe that's the exact point I'm trying to make. But if we had one of my brilliant plans to back us up into battle... Yeah, we have access to Red Mage's great tactical genius. Taken by surprise. Yes. Of course, we should probably douse ourselves in ketchup. Everyone knows that dragons love ketchup. That's why they're so close to ketchup money. Not to self. Never let Red Mage make a plan. Ever. So like Black Mage was saying, we'll leave Fighter to his own devices. And demise. The last fighter, we knew you too well. You and your fucking lame obsession with swords, and your wit that was sharp enough to cut warm butter. Why must the good ones die so young, while Fighter tormented me with his existence for so damn long? Oh, we dare not imagine what cool and gruesome death is, no doubt, better the claws of some horrible hell beast. Actually, I'm imagining it right now. Oh god, it's hilarious. He, he actually thinks the armor of invincibility is real, but, but that's just a horrible cave of doom. I'll never have to see him again. Oh man, maybe it's a cave to the old ones, and they've ripped his soul out through his spleen, which itself had been ripped through his chest. It's too funny. I've got to sit down. Why, hello there, boys. What are you doing in front of the perfectly harmless cave that I call home? Come on in. I've got snacks. <laughs> Boy, it sure is dark and scary and lonely in this doom cave. Now, what was that story Master Vargas used to tell me about quests to make them less scary? Beware the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the fumorous bandersnatch. And what else? He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the man's so foe he sought, so rested he by the tum tum tree, and stood a while in thought. Manzo, I just heard you say that and I still don't know how it's pronounced. Cookies taste good. Yo. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. See, one thing I could almost believe, but you lost me with tulgy. I got your tulgy wood right here, oh yeah! One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with his head he went galumping back. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy of Frabus Day, Kalu Kale, he chortled with his joy. You've totally made that up. Half those words aren't even real. 
I'm going to be so disillusioned when I grow up thanks to this. You better just hope that I don't recall this memory at some traumatic moment in the future in an attempt to calm my nerves with a dose of childhood. Because man, you have just killed my inner child and I'm only six. Lousy disillusionment of childhood memories. What do you do for fighter? I've got chocolate pecan, oatmeal raisin, and the peanut butter, and they're all fresh too. <laughs> Yay! I don't suppose you've got some doom cookies in there. Oh, heavens no! They taste like hell. And I'm a witch, so I know what I'm talking about. Poison cookies? Blech. Don't get me wrong. I love a good poison pudding, but it's absolutely dreadful in cookie form. What about charcoals, exposed electrical outlets, fire hazards, radar in the basement, tans and mountain you? Nope. Nothing like any of that in here. My cave is completely childproof. As a coincidence, that also makes it completely idiot proof. Oh. Armor break! Armor break. Power break! break. Magnum break! What the devil is that racket? If I know anything about Zodiac style sort of play, and unfortunately I do, that racket is the ram form break of it. Ha-cha! Take that, foul cave beast! Oh! Yeah, so it's a sword fighting form that relies on striking an opponent's weak point. Very clever. Not exactly. It's the Ram Four. Whatever genius Vargas may have possessed with a blade, he was no math in the realm of imagination, so. The main tactic of the Ram Form on Zodiac and Shido is to break your opponent's equipment with your head before he breaks your head with his equipment. Yeah! Needless to say, there have been few answers to the Ram technique. Are you the owner or proprietor of this Doom Cave? Yes. Your rock giant infestation has been taken care of. Would you perchance be referring to the east wall of my living room? Darn my erective imagination. Darn it to heck. How did you dent the wall? So, did you boys enjoy your cookies? Hmm. Oh yeah. Class 3 cookies are yummy. More. No talk. Eat it. That's good. I'm glad you liked my cookies. The secret ingredient is evil! I knew it! However, I do have a request for you boys. And by request, I of course mean demand. Demand? Lady, I don't think you know, nor do I think you want to know, the world of pain you're about to discover. And I don't think you want to walk out of here without knowing what the antidote is. It would be terrible for your health if you suddenly died. And then to what? You're completely out of your... <laughs> uh, I really should have invested in danger. Such a delicious con, but I like cookies. Well, you've won my grudging respect, which I assume you have something specific and harrowing in mind for us. Or are you just some crazy old lady living in a cave who enjoys poisoning hapless passers-by just because it makes you laugh? Quite observant, King. I do indeed have a mission for you boys. A quest. Knows. You might even get to walk away from this with more than just your lives. We now return to Ebit Theater Chaos. I hope I haven't poisoned your opinions of me, because I'd hate to have poisoned our future dealings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 guess my favorite 80s band. Go on, guess. Gee, I don't know. Could it be poison? No, it's warrant. <laughs> oh, God, my wit is absolutely poisonous. <laughs> More accurate statement I have not heard in recent times. Oh, I'm sorry, boys, really. It's just that I am a witch, and well, honestly, I don't get many hapless passers-by around these parts. You know, what with the giants and the werewolves and all. But seriously, I poisoned you for a reason. Well, that's good to know. I need you boys to go out into the horrible world and find my crystal ball. I get it myself, you understand. But I'm completely blind without it. Blind, eh? I'll save you from the gruesome details, but suffice it to say that when a demon comments that he'd like to see things through your eyes, he's not speaking metaphorically. Anyway, assuming that you don't die from the teeming monster horse or the poison I've given you, 
I'll reward you for your trouble. Reward, eh? I'm sorry to hear about your troubles, ma'am, but we're on a really important mission to save- YAG! Yeah! Shut, Shut up! up. We're, we're gonna, gonna get, get money! It's like right stealing leveling free. Up free! You have to ask why my knife is also in fact, then you're not paying attention. So, if you boys return with my crystal ball, then I'll give you the antidote to the poison and 200 gil each! What do you say? 200 gil each, you say? So that's 200 gil for me, Black Mage, Red Mage, Fighter, Nut, and Lucius. I'm blind, not stupid. My mistake. Well, as an acting leader of the Light Warriors, and out of abject fear of becoming a poison frog mage, I accept your quest. Of course, as soon as we get the answer, your life will instantly become forfeit. Well, I guess we ought to get going, you know, before the poison kicks in and we die. Wait! You don't have to yell. Oh, great and powerful Matoya, I beseech you. Oh, my. <laughs> I haven't been besought since the 70s. Tell unto me that which is the location of the most fabled armor of invincibility within thy cave. Fine, I must be as dumb as Red Mage is stupid. Hey! I just calls him like I seen him. Anyway, that one I still think. I've been wanting to get rid of that clunky old thing for years now. But it's so heavy with invincibility that I can't even budge it. I'd like to take it off your hands if you really don't want it. If you could see Black Mage's face, <laughs> well, you'd go insane. But just before that, you'd see his mouth hanging wide open. Here it is, the legendary armoire of invincibility. What, you mean inside your cabinet, sir? Eh? Not exactly what I had in mind, but invincibility works in mysterious ways. Ugh. It'd be sad if it weren't so painful for him. Therefore, my love. It's so nice of you boys to get rid of that heavy armoire for me. I almost feel sorry for poisoning you into my subquest. I'm this close to regret. Gee, thanks. Perhaps you could give us some clues as to the possible whereabouts of your crystal ball. After all, it is in your own best interest to help us find it before your poison finishes its work. Spine, like, twig! Oh, of course! Biggie the pirate stole it on his way to take over the port town of Provoca. It has a port, you know, for boats. And he is a pirate after all, pillaging towns and stealing from old ladies is what he does, so I don't blame him for it. Wait a second. You know exactly who took your crystal, and exactly where he is, and you're not even mad at him for it, yet we're the ones who are poisoned have to go get it back. Really? I suppose it does seem strange that I would simply sit here and wait for the off chance that adventurers would happen by so that I could make them go get my crystal. But then it wouldn't be a side quest now, would it? She's got a point. What the? No, she doesn't. A frog is not the most horrible thing one can be magically transformed into. I can demonstrate if you wish. See, now that is a good point. We'll see you once we return from Provoca with your magic crystal seeing eye thing. Such nice young men. You better have an ass over face stabbing because all our faces so stab when we get back. It sure is nice to finally get that darned armoire out of here. It'll really open up the living room. Still, it seems strange that a fighter would be so eager to get his hands on a piece of furniture. Even if it is invincible furniture. Hmm. Upon further reflection, I really hope that he wasn't asking for my armor of invincibility. Darn my poor old lady hearing. Oh well, I'm sure he'd tell me if there had been a misunderstanding. Move it slowly, but slow. My invincibility is killing me! Oh ye gods, we are pathetic. How so? We've been hired to be light warriors and we're questing to save the world and right now we're on our very first side quest! Yay! Yeah, this whole side quest thing is great. Let me tell you, I think my favorite thing about it is the pop are all poisoned! BM, it's almost like you have no understanding of adventuring at all. Without side quests, you're not on an adventure. You're just a roaming band of thugs who bring terror and death to an otherwise innocent and peaceful world. The noble side quest is what separates us from the monsters. Life is a side quest. Seize the EXP. Yes, but your face is stupid. And alas, it is the secret private agony of all who min max. We bear the burden of a low charisma score. Newsflash, your ugliness ain't a private pain, it hurts us all. Booyah! Man, I'm so damn funny. Well, if we're done making fun of me, for now, I'd like to say the fighter appears to have mastered his armoire. 
Ah yeah, carrying this thing's a breeze now I'm finally supporting its weight with only my spine. But isn't that painful? You have no idea. Previously on 8-Bit Theater Chaos. You know exactly who took your crystal, and exactly where he is, and you're not even mad at him for it, yet when-